let's look at finding the density of this irregular shaped solid using a Eureka cam. So the first thing that we need to do, as usual with finding density, is find the mass of the solid. So let's turn on the um, balance and let's get our second video going so that we can see what the balance reads. Pop on our rock and coming out at 45.04 grams. So now we've got the mass. The next thing that we need to do is find the volume. And we're gonna use this Eureka can and we need to make sure that it is filled completely to the top. So the best thing to do for this is to pour in extra water so that it is definitely overflowing and then um, wait a little bit for all of the water to finish dripping out. Whilst that's dripping out, I can um, get a piece of string to tie the piece of string around uh, my irregular shaped rock. And once I have done that, I will be, hopefully, the dripping will just about have finished. And once that's finished, I will then be able to lower this into the Eureka can and I'll be able to catch the water that comes out in this measuring cylinder. This is dry, so there's nothing in it to start with. Um, okay, so I think that's probably finished dripping. Give it one more chance. Now let's lower in the rock and till it's fully submerged. And now I'm just going to um, take it out. And <clears throat> now all that I need to do is move my uh, second video so that you have a chance to see what the measuring cylinder is reading. So let's move that to the edge there and turn on my second video and try and get that lined up with the measuring cylinder at the right height. There we go. And hopefully you can read off the volume of water which came out there. Okay, so now you should be able to calculate the density of my rock.